All right, folks, so the time came when it's time to tuck this car in. I'm actually leaving the mainland, I we call it, from Hawaii. So this car is going to have to stay. So we're going to have to, it's probably going to sit right here where it is. So there's a few things that I would like to do before I leave it because it's probably going to sit for about six months or so is one of the things is I like to get the battery charged pretty well okay I like to get my battery up about three quarters not all the way but three quarters so maybe about 25 to 28 miles or something like that of range that's one of the things the other thing is fuel so you want to put good fuel in here so what I did is I put a uh, 93, well no I'm sorry I did not put 93, I put in 90, 80, uh, 91 I think, yeah 91, which technically calls for this, but it is uh, ethanol free. So the reason you want to use ethanol free gas, which you can't, in most of the places you can't find ethanol free gas, I guess there are a few gas stations, but I have a gas station in my area that has ethanol free gas. And it tends not to cake up as fast. So it can sit for a long time and not, uh, you know, go bad on you. Plus the Volt has a pressurized tank. It's a sealed system, I guess. Completely sealed. Where the gas doesn't breathe out, I don't think so. Anyways, it preserves it alright already. But I like to uh, put good gas in there before I leave it for a long time. So it's got uh, almost a full tank of that. So pretty much that's all I really do to it. Um, it is going to sit outside, so if it was in the garage, it would be just fine the way it is. But because it's going to be outside, I have got a cover for this guy. Because the sun will eat it up, all the plastics, and plus it'll heat up. It's a black interior, and the roof is black, so that doesn't help at all. But before you put the cover on, you want to make sure that your car is clean. So you need to take it to a pressure washing place, where you can pressure wash out of... Out of all these little holes, you can pressure washer the, uh, mostly sand is your enemy when it comes to covering a car. So you don't want to have sand at all anywhere where it could rub from just the wind moving and stuff like that. So, But I'm about to show you guys the car cover that I got. It's actually pretty nice and it's got a good uh, protection layer. Feels kind of like, uh, like a fabric, almost like wool or something. But I doubt it is anything real. It's probably synthetic of some sort. But it's very soft. And this is actually the big plus about this kind of car cover. Is that it has this where it, it's really soft to the paint. Even when it's moving around. You know, things can go through. Basically, it won't be a harsh against the car scratch. Plus, it's water resistant but breathable. That's kind of important that it's, you know that the car can breathe because if it won't breathe a lot of your moisture stays inside and that's bad too things will start to uh, corrode and stuff on the vehicle when you're not letting it breathe so that basically means that the moisture can go through here out the top of the cover but the rain will not get through it it'll kind of fall off of it so. alright guys once you get your car prepared to where you want it to be um, in the position you want it to be and uh, all that good stuff and you got it all washed up where it's clean and you're ready to disconnect the battery here's the one thing you got to remember is that this hatch right here is at a, or, or electronic so once you disconnect this battery down here in the back you will not be able to get back in here with no battery so what you want to do is you want to lay the seats down in the back so you can access the car later through the front door on the driver's side is the only way you're going to be able to access with no power which is a keyhole right here so once you get in through there then you'll be able to climb into here you might be able to open this door here and then go through here and what you're going to do is you're going to have to pop that up right there to get to the battery terminal so if you want to you could just remove this whole thing right here so it's a lot easier to get to the battery. Uh, but actually, I'm just going to fold it over like that. And as you can see, if I move that stuff over there, it'll easily fold right over. And then I can get to the battery terminals here. 
So what I'm going to disconnect is the negative. The reason I'm disconnecting the negative, normally positive would be the best thing to disconnect, but here on the positive, things are very complicated. There's things connected to it. There's like a there's like a plate right there that's connected to that. Basically, it all holds together to the battery. So the only way to dis disconnect the power would be here. And that's it. Make sure that this doesn't fall over on it. So put it somewhere where it's just going to hold real good. It doesn't touch this by accident. So maybe even let it go down there. There we go. So now I'm just going to put this back. There you go. Power is disconnected completely. Once I close this tailgate here, I can't open it again until I get that battery terminal connected. So anyway, so and the way you'd lock the doors is you just push this and close it and then it'll be locked. So as you can see, if we pull this, it unlocks it. So you can, once you open the uh, driver's door, you can pull on this with your hand through here and this door will unlock manually. So yeah, now I'm just gonna make sure I put everything in here that I need and uh, put the cover on the car and then we'll be good. See if I can put this thing here. All right, guys. So I closed the hatch and I'm putting in on the uh, cover. So the cover's got these latches here that you will latch underneath once the cover's on good. So I'm gonna put the cover on real good. All right, guys. And this is the car cover for the Chevy Volt. As you can see, everything looks perfect. It's tucked in beautifully. And according to my last test of this same cover, it lasted a year until this started kind of uh, this material started uh, degrading right here all right guys well thanks for watching this video hopefully help somebody and i'll see you in the next one peace